Hey everyone, I'm Ola and today we are going to play My Cafe Recipes and Stories. In this video I'm going to tell you about update 2018.1 and this is going to be a very significant update because there's going to be a new currency which is called Rubies. What is this and how to use this? Everything you need to know about this in this video. So let's go! So rubies is a new currency that appears from level 8 in the game. You can see it next to the coins and diamonds on top of the screen. The rubies can be seen from your cafe and from your township as well. You can buy stylish buildings with it. Now you can have a stylish cafe. Stylish buildings also give you bonuses for festivals. You can take more free tasks. For instance, you've taken 5 free tasks. Now you can take more from your stylish buildings. You can upgrade your buildings for rubies and increase the number of bonuses. Besides, take a notice that now the cafe button has moved to the left, while the shop button appears in the bottom right corner. The shop and township has three sections – bank, buildings and the storage, where only stylish buildings are seen. You can keep the buildings in storage even if you decide to leave your township, regardless of whether you are a citizen or a township owner. You can use the buildings in your new townships. Important thing – the buildings do not influence your tips, but give you bonuses for the festivals. If you take a bonus task and move your building to the storage, you will still be able to finish the task. However, if you cancel a bonus task, you won't be able to see a new one, because it will be regarded as used. On the other hand, if you install a new building, you will be able to see more bonus tasks, even if you started to see paid tasks previously. So now we know why we need rubies, but how do we earn them? First of all, you will need stylish equipment that appears in the game starting from level 7. However, they will bring you rubies starting from level 8, when you start making recipes with them yourselves and serve your customers. The ingredients icons will be colored to show that they bring rubies to you. If you have several stylish ingredients, the number of rubies sums up when you serve your customers. I want to say it again. You need to serve your customers manually to get the rubies, your staff cannot do it for you. When you want to buy stylish equipment, you can click on the information window and see how much you are going to get. If you already have stylish equipment, click on its information and the reward will also be indicated there. When you start, you may want to talk to Fernando. He's going to tell you everything about the new currency. If you don't have a stylish tea machine, Fernando will give it to you for free to make rubies available to all players. By the way, it's not so hard to earn the rubies. Take township orders and get rubies for them. They will also be added into the festival tasks and rewards for the festival. You will also be able to see them in the township treasure trove. Not in the treasury though. But you will be able to purchase and upgrade stylish buildings for them. And the first two levels are easy. And it's not the end. When you purchase and install a first level building, you will come back to the cafe and see an ATM next to the cafe. You will see a tutorial to exchange currency. You can get first 100 rubies straight away. The next slot will be available from level 20 and you will need some time to convert the currency. The third slot will be available for players with VIP 4. To speed up the currency exchange, you can use diamonds. More rubies mean upgraded stylish buildings and bonuses in the festivals. The rubies have a progress scale and if we click on it, we see a box where all rubies are stored. You can upgrade the box to make it more spacious. It will store more rubies there. As you see, this is the first time we introduced the rubies. And together with you, we will see how to improve them and make my cafe game even more interesting in the nearest updates. Well, and thank you so much for playing with me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and everything has become clear to you. If you did, then please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's play together. Don't forget to click the bell to get all the news about the game from my video. I am also glad to reward 5 best comments onto my previous video and the list of the winners is right here. Thank you very much guys, you are going to get your pink gifts pretty soon. If you also want a pink gifts, please leave a comment below this video and include some good original ideas about the game or about my videos. Do it on YouTube because the comments on Facebook do not count. And don't forget to leave your player ID. This is a combination of numbers in the bottom left corner of your game settings. I will announce 5 winners next Friday. Till then, see you next time. Bye-bye.